Ladies and gentlemen, it is my hope this video is going to find you in good health. Leo nimekuja na moto sana. Because I've missed you and I know you also missed my analysis. Are there plans by William Ruto's camp to bar Raila Amolo Dinga from contesting for the presidency in 2022? That's the question which most Kenyans are currently asking. And can such plans succeed? And if they can't succeed, why are they being pursued? What are the objectives? In this video today, I want us to look at why I strongly believe that William Ruto's camp are actually keen on dragging Raila Amuro Dinga to courts. Because in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objectives. Nominated member of parliament, Dr. David Ole Sankok, while addressing the UDA rally in Eldoret Town, a rally which was termed the mother of all political rallies in this country, revealed that he's going to the courts to block Raila Muludinga from contesting for the presidency in 2022. And he gave reasons why he's going to courts. One of the reasons is that Raila Muludinga participated in the failed 1982 coup. The other reason he's giving is that Raila Muludinga saw himself as the people's president and therefore should not be allowed to run in this country. And that even if Raila Muludinga were to run and win, then the military should not allow him to take over the leadership of this country. I want us to look at all those. Because you all know that in 2007, William Samoy Ruto was part and parcel of Raila Odinga's campaign. He never bothered to seek for Raila Odinga to be barred from contesting. And one thing which you must understand is that in these political rallies, normally speakers are given or they agree on what to say. That's why speakers are always selected. Whatever Linturi said had a meaning. What Sankok, Sankok said has a meaning. But what are the objectives? Before we go into all those details, if you're watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. The only request I'm making is that please give this video a thumbs up. You can drop your comment and share the videos. Let us begin this video by watching Sankok making his statement. And I want you to pay close attention to what he's saying. Listen in. Asandene sana. Your Excellency, mimi ni metayarisha a battery of lawyers. Nataka kwenda kotini kubara elo odinga asisimame 2022 kwa sababu ya treason offense. Amba ali commit 1982 wakati wa attempted coup na pia ile kujiapisha kama raisi bonoko kwa hivyo hakuna haja naelekea kotini kwa sababu mtu mwenye ame commit reason offense atakui kusimama kutafuta kura yote katika inji ya Kenya and in the 10% unlikely event of even Raila winning the presidency. I don't think the army can hand over power to somebody who committed a treason offense. Kwa sababu, if they do that, they will have set a very bad president. Ya kwamba inji yetu, kila mtu mwenye nasimama kama rais, ata azajiabisha kwa kona hii, na mungina ajiabisha kwa kona hii, na atugawe hii inji, na atuezi gawa. Kwa hivyo, huyo kitenda wili, the single denominator of violence, Wile mwenye alitajwa 1982 kwa kuu. Wile mwenye alijaribu kupendua serikali ya moi. Wile mwenye 1997 alifanya tumuwa gadamu. 2007 alitumia daraja ya maiti kupara nusumkade nusumkeka. 2013 
akafanya tumbo yake damu 2017 akatusungusha kama mwalinda baba akatuenda kujabisha shindwa katika jina la Yesu mtatusaidia tushinda huyo mganga mtatusaidia tushinda mganga asandeni sana Mungu awabariki mjitokeze mpige kura mkishapiga kura muende nyumbani no that is david ole sankok this is one member of parliament who would always start with the deputy president but whenever a serious matter is before parliament he always votes for president ru kenyatta but that's not the topic for today are there plans to block raila amolo odinga let us begin that can raila odinga be barred from running for the presidency in my view that can never happen The name Raila Amolo Odinga will be on the ballot in 2022. William Ruto understands this that the name Raila Odinga will be on the ballot in 2002. But what are the objectives? Because sometimes we don't drag someone to courts for example to win or you don't compete to win. What are the objectives? In my view, William Ruto and his team are keen on achieving the following objectives. The first objective is to drag Raila Molodinga to courts. We've seen in the recent times William Ruto and his team winning several cases against the president. Of course the president is not contesting again. The person who is contesting now is Raila Molodinga. So which means they are now focusing their attention on Raila Molodinga. And at one point on this channel I opined that William Samoei Ruto was was uh, actually constituting a team of lawyers to represent him in case of uh, a petition and also this team of lawyers will be ready to take over any case i am sure and certain that one of the one of the cases this team is already ready to handle is uh, this case or the matter of Raila Amolodinga why Raila Odinga should not be allowed to contest so i think their objective is not necessarily to block Raila Molodinga but they want to drag him to court court will give them the opportunity to execute whatever they want if there's any material there's any evidence there's anything they would want Kenyans to know about Raila Odinga the coup the swearing in why that should not why he should not be allowed to run based on those they'll have the opportunity to do that so they know probably they won't succeed but at the end of it all they shall have succeeded in delivering their message just like if you follow the supreme court of 2017 odm and nasa pursued it they won then they never went for the elections by doing that already they created legitimacy issues on president ru kenyatta's victory that's exactly what these guys want they want to drag raila molodinga to court number two, william ruto has identified William Ruto and, and his team they have identified Raila Odinga as the only opponent they are facing in 2022 that's why they've identified him and they want to drag him to court otherwise if Raila Odinga was not the only credible candidate rest assured that as we speak now probably they would have identified another guy so they want to take him to court waste time so instead of uh, Raila Odinga considering his, in his campaigns Raila Odinga will figure out okay let me try and defend myself on this these guys are alleging this okay how do i defend myself so they have identified Raila Odinga as the opponent so you must deal with your opponents when courts will uh, start if they'll keep their promise then it means attention will will now be on the two ODM probably Raila versus Ruto and number three. I think if you ask me these guys are also keen on dragging the military into 2022 politics. Nothing happens in politics out of mere coincidence. Just recently you saw Kip Chumba more comment of all the people who is the legal advisor to the deputy president Dr. William Samaya Arap Ruto dragging the name of Major Kiboshi during uh, that time which was so unfortunate and I opined here the military in this country is professional sankok is advising the military that even if raila molodinga were to win the elections then they should not allow raila molodinga to 
sit on the presidency. <laughs> so basically, they want to test the influence of the military. Whether military can agree with them that anybody who attempted a coup should not be allowed to run the country. So that's something which I don't want to run away from. And number four, these guys, and this is politics, very smart politics, they are keen on winning the support of uh, former Daniel, Tor former President Daniel Toro Richard Apmoy. You know, Daniel Toro Richard Apmoy was the president of this country for 24 good years. During that time, using Kanu, the, the president, the former president, managed to create a serious network. And that's why Kanu is still very popular in this country to date. The truth of the matter is that majority of former Kanu members are not keen on Relo Dinga's presidency. They feel because Moi told them to believe so that Relo Dinga is a bad man. So these are the people William Ruto are targeting. He's targeting them because they are in Kanu and Gideon Moi is trying to take them to support Relo Dinga. So William Ruto is, and his team are simply reminding them that look here, the guy you, are, you want to support participated in 2002 coup. You are part of Kanu. He really gave us hell. Kanu left office because of him. Some of you lost businesses because Kanu left power. So in my view, the DP is keen on uh, winning the support of those who believed in Moi and those who believed up to now on Ka in Kanu. And lastly, William Ruto is very keen on injuring Raila Odinga reform credentials. In this country, Raila Odinga is known as the father of devolution. Today, William Ruto is talking of bottom-up approach. There is no any other bottom-up approach than devolution in this country. Ukienda, ukiona even theft, it devolved from the national level <laughs> to the villages. So it means instead of people just stealing at the up there, kuna villages who are stealing. That's why when you go to the villages, you find someone who was just a border, border guy, lucky, and now has some serious businesses around. Buildings coming up. What do I mean loot? Devolution. Raila was referred to as that. Raila Dinga is known as a reformist. Moses Kuria just recently during uh, Raila Dinga's birthday party stated that you can take anything away from Raila Dinga but not his reform credentials because Raila Dinga is the only person who has suffered the most in the name of this country. That was Moses Kuria. But William Ruto is keen to change that narrative. He wants to tell Kenyans that Raila Odinga was arrested, right? For nine years, right? But was he fighting for the rights of Kenyans? No. He was arrested because he participated in coup. These are some of the main reasons why these guys are keen on dragging Raila Odinga to the courts. Because let's face it, and not in a bad way, I want to ask a question. Is there anything in this country which William Ruto has ever fought for? If it's the new constitution, he fought it. He fought it the constitution we are today enjoying. Is there, since he joined politics in 1992, is there anything you know which William Ruto has actually participated in? Zero. So Raila Dinga's riding on uh, reform credentials, he must injure. I don't know what to think. That's my thought. If you're watching the channel for the first time, take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Bye-bye.